Hello everyone, this is Flying Sandal. And uh, I know I owe some more videos on the build of the um, AR wing with Artipilot, but today I'm taking a little bit of a break and just making a quick video to talk about these. And these, and all of the different batteries that are needed to fly your little whoops, your tiny whoops. I got a couple of them here. Um, these are actually not the brand Tiny Whoop, but these are the Newbie Drone. And anyway, <clears throat> what I have been noticing is that every time I fly, um, and I of course, you know, fly these batteries down to the point where they are pretty much dead, um, just over three volts, sometimes all the way down to three volts. And um, I typically use this little charger to charge them. It's a very useful little charger because you can, you can put up to five batteries and literally all you do is you stick them in there and it will charge them. Uh, so as you can see, uh, these are one, two, three, four, five, and so four and five are charging. I actually don't want to charge them right now. Um, <clears throat> and you can select how much current you want to use. You can select from you know 0.1 to 0.6 amps, and you can select whether or not you want to enable the USB port, etc. So it has a few functions. It runs off of a um, you know 4S, 5S battery. It has a, a wide input, but the one thing it does not have is a setting for storage charging these batteries. And so what happens is that after you fly them, you can either leave them discharged, which is not good for them, or you can charge them and then put them back in the case, which is also not good for them. What you really want to do with them is you want to put them at storage charge. And um, that's the challenge. These little chargers don't put them at storage charge. And this guy, well, it doesn't do a very good job with 1S batteries to begin with, and you would have to have some kind of adapter to put it to 1S. So I came up with something to fix that. Um, and it's this little guy here. So I made a little PCB board, and I actually printed a base, and I put balance leads, and I put a main charge lead. And now I have a little board where it does not connect them in parallel. It connects them in series, but because you have the balance lead, you can actually balance each individual cell and you can do it on this guy. So let me quickly show you how that works. So it uses these um, connectors, they're labeled as MCPX on this charger, uh, but these are your, your common um, whoop balance chargers. Now, this is made for these type of connectors because these are the ones that I have, but certainly could be made with other connectors. Um, but FPV came out with connectors that um, have much better output for um, brushless and stuff. So anyway, the idea is simply this. It connects them in series, not in parallel. And so now that is as good as this 4S pack to the charger. It doesn't care. And of course, this is a 1.3 or 1300 milliamp, whereas these are just 260 milliamp hours, but that is not a problem because now I can take this and plug it into my charger like this. It has an XT60 lead, so it connects right in there. Now, let me zoom you in a little. And what I can do now is use my regular charger, right? I'll zoom a little out so that this, the board and that are still in the view. Um, I can select the second port for charging. And now I can use the full function. See, my, my charger recognized this as a 4S battery. And it's saying, well, what do you want to do with it? So I can charge, discharge, extended discharge, storage, or balance. So now I can balance charge them. Typically, I actually will put them to storage and I've just done that with this. So they're LiPo batteries at 3.8 volts, actually. It has LiPo HV, LIHV, which actually should be balanced at 3.85 as a 4S. And because these are, let's see, what are they? 260 milliamp hours. Well, I could go to 0.3 amps and start. Are these really LIHV? Yes. And now it's showing me, it's doing the storage charge. It's pumping in only 0.3 amps, and it's taking the voltage to what I just said, which was a 
five. And so it'll work on that until it's done. So that's gonna take a few minutes. But um, to the charger, now this is just a regular forest pack, a very small forest pack, 300 milliamp hour, but it knows exactly what to do with that. <laughs> and even more, it let me access all the functions. Uh, okay, on the storage cycle, it doesn't show internal resistance, but on a normal charge, it would show me storage internal resistance. So anyway, that's it. It's simple as that. The main goal is to turn these little guys into something that my main charger can use. And so connected them in series, not in parallel. Again, um, a balanced charger can charge them in series, just like it charges a 4S pack and will balance them for you. And now I can put them to storage and they'll be safely here stored in my case until I'm ready to use them. And it doesn't matter if I wait three, four, five weeks. When I come back, they're gonna be ready to go. Well, that's it. I hope you like this video. And, uh, you know, if you have a need for something like this and you don't wanna go through what other people do, which is build a harness, I used to do this, but this is just so much more convenient. I can access my packs. I put a little bit of space between the cells so my fat fingers can fit in there. I'm not gonna unplug it because then that would, um, you know, freak out the charger. Uh, just a few recommendations. You do want to fly them all to about the same voltage when you fly them and discharge them. Uh, the charger will take longer if they are too unbalanced, but it will still balance them. This charger, it will just take a little longer, but balance them. And you do want to have the same capacity batteries that you put in here. So you don't want to mix like, um, for example, this uh, is a 250 milliamp. So that's close enough to the uh, 260 but this is a 300 milliamp hour. So you don't want to necessarily be mixing different capacity batteries. So ideally you'll have, um, you know, as, at least a set of four batteries that are the same. So you can do this with them and you want to be, you know, follow all the cautions and recommendations with LiPos. You don't want to charge them at higher than one C. Uh, you want to be gentle with them, but you can charge them. You know, you can have two of these little boards and just use another. It's just done doing the storage charge right now. And and it did all the cells at 8.5. So there they are and ready to go. You can have another one and do eight at a time. Um, anyway, I just thought I would share with you guys. Um, I did make these chargers. I made a small batch because when I made the PCBs, I had a minimum order. So I have a few of these available. If anybody is interested, uh, I'd be happy to, um, you know, sell off my my few extra ones um uh, and that's it all right hope you enjoyed it bye keep them up in the air guys bye